I wouldn't ever want to punch a person who's within the, the you know, doing some good work actually. Yeah. Interestingly enough, I might bring up a very controversial figure, but we've just had Andrew Tate accept Islam, someone who is the most Googled person on earth. Yes. And it's very interesting that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would use such a person mm. to accept Islam, someone who has a very strong influence on disadvantaged young men, young males who speaks to them, he calls them young kings and has a very profound impact on them. It's very interesting that Allah would use someone like him and we ask Allah to protect him and to actually make this uh, conversion sincere. What are your thoughts on that? You know, I, I, I'll be honest with you as much as I, uh, it might sound very strange, but I didn't really know who Andrew Tate was. Obviously, I, I, I'm busy in Top my field and, and so on. Yeah, sorry. But uh, th then when, when, when the hype came, I obviously found out and I obviously, then I, I checked him out and I was very happy at the Shahada, obviously, who wouldn't be? I mean, we're, we're Muslimin and we're all excited. And you wish for everyone to be Muslim. Everyone I mean, yeah, exactly. Being. And and mashallah, he, he seems like a very sincere brother and he says what he feels. That's That means the, 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 the hypocrisy factor doesn't seem to be there at all. In fact, it, it probably isn't because he says it as he, he thinks. As he deems. Uh, yeah, that's how it comes across, alhamdulillah. So it's a good thing. And what I believe Islam would do for a brother like that is amazing it would streamline his ideas and actually uh, you know between misogynism and feminism those are the terminologies that people use today uh, we have a beautiful islam the prophet sallallahu approach because i know i faced some of my friends some scholars as well and some uh, regular muslims who sometimes have told me certain things no sheikh you're too soft and no sheikh you're this and that and i tell you it's not that Islam is a balance. There are times when the Prophet ﷺ was extremely lenient and very forgiving. There were times when he spoiled his family members. You know, th there is a balance. It, it's happened to me where people say, oh, you said this and you said that, but we're calling towards a balance. A man needs to know, and a woman, when to be lenient, when to be a little bit harder, when to be a bit harsh, when to uh, forgive, when to hold things, and so on. So it's it's a beautiful balance. So I believe that's what Islam would do to anyone who's genuine in learning. It would create a balance. It's not all about being, you know, so I'm 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 the king, I'm the boss, and that's me. I mean, no one would like you in that case because why? It's not the case. Yeah, it would regulate you, know? you towards that wasaf. You need the middle path. You are you are a king, but if only you have a queen. There mm, goes, so you know.